Hello Flostube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you what other things I have stitched. I mean other things because um, my big main <laughs> project is Princess Eliana by Mirabilia, but that one is quite big, I would say huge, and uh, I cannot stitch it for a long time, like, mm, I don't know. I'm stitching, stitching that project and I'm getting tired, I'm getting bored and uh, I want to stitch something small and that's something small for those who noticed from my videos, usually are just nan projects. And sometimes it's like these just nan projects are so interesting and so nice that I am uh, just leaving Eliana and I am stitching just this once, I am finishing work. So I, I while stitching Eliana, I have uh, many um, stitched ready <laughs> small project, but she is not ready yet. But next video, I'm going to try to show you what my progress is on that work. But so far, I'm going to show what else I have finished from the small projects. Okay, first of all, I wanted to show you my final, final variant of the Biscornu by Just Nan. I'm showing that Biscor this Biscornu in every video, I think. <laughs> the thing is that I was not satisfied by the center bead. If you remember, it was hard. It was a golden and a, um, silver heart. And I replaced it with a treasure, with a crystal treasure from uh, Mill Hill. Uh, this is uh, this kind of flower so this is 13006 and uh, there were three in the box and I used two and I am super happy super contented with what I have and this is going to be my final variant of this work it's beautiful beautiful work The, the next ready work works actually, which I wanted to show you. This is uh, just Nan. The um, work is called Peacock Majesty. This one is an old design. It was released in 1995, I think, 96, something like this. And uh, uh, this one was uh, made as an anniversary sampler by just Nan because uh, just Nan. Uh, uh, had its uh, five years anniversary of the brand and for those who stitch or maybe who paid attention they know that the logo of the um, just name is uh, of the brand just name is a peacock and that's why there are a lot of peacocks here and uh, so it's an old design and this one is out of production and actually it's hard to find. That's why I have stitched not, not by the original, um, how they say, chart and embellishment pack because I couldn't, uh, I would say not that I couldn't find them. I would say that, and I wouldn't say I couldn't afford them. So uh, it was possible to find them buy it but it the auction started with $100 the last time I saw it like a couple of months ago on eBay and honestly I I was not ready to pay $100 for, for this uh, for this one but I had a dream <laughs> and I made my dream come true because um, there were some lucky um, moments which helped me first of all the uh, fabric so the fabric um, this fabric I was out of production so actually I didn't have any chance to find it and when I started getting together the materials for this one to see at least if I can find the first uh, attempt it was this fabric this is casual by Zweigart and uh, the uh, color is called petrol and I was so surprised that Zweigart uh, recently uh, like released this color so you can find this one in the shops who which sell uh, Zweigert uh, fabric so this one is uh, released it's free to buy and I wanted to show because I bought it in such a case 
and the um, color code is this one 5153 at least in the shop i bought it they called it petrol because different shops call the, these colors differently so this is the how it looks like so this is the leftover so i found i found the original fabric which was super great uh, finding the rest of the materials uh, was easier uh, because 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 just a sec because i saw a video of a russian fl floss tuber who stitched this one by the original uh, chart and um, she had a situation with the beads she said that when she looked at the beads she uh, supposed that the beads are not enough of the project and she counted them <laughs> imagine she looked in the chart she looked at the beads she had she counted them and she realized she doesn't have enough beads that's why having the original beads and having a mill hill tra um, bead uh, chart she uh, looked for mill hill beads uh, like to replace them and she told which color of beads she used and these are the beads i used so i used uh, four colors of magnifica so this is the gold one. I used quite a lot of this one, by the way. Fuxia, nice, nice, nice. This ones. This ones. And this ones. So I found the uh, um, linen I needed. I uh, found the uh, beads I needed. Then also in the bead pack, the embellishment pack of the uh, this um, design, it was a piece of um, silk, um, hand-dyed silk from Silk and Colors, uh, Fred Gaberer, and it was indicated that the color is called Majesty. I tried looking for that color in today's Silk and Colors palette. I couldn't find it, and visually I identified that the most uh, close uh, it would be um, morning on the sand, something like this, and I was ready to buy that uh, that uh, silk. When I uh, noticed this color of uh, cotton thread, this is cotton thread, and this is DMC Coloris, DMC Coloris, and this would be the number. Because I was looking for some materials for our project, and I needed some DMC Coloris, and I noticed this one. I bought it because this one is much much cheaper than the silk when it came and i looked at the color and i looked here at the um, the things that the other colors i have this project i just realized that it would be okay so i used also cotton silk i didn't use uh, uh, sorry i used the cotton thread and i didn't use the silk so i would say that i have a cheaper variant but not a bad one also here it was necessary to use two cranics. Thanks God they are not out of production, none of them. So this is the usual 002, uh, number four, very fine braid. And this one was very important because I used a lot of this. This is 684, also the number four, very fine braid. And this one was needed like throughout the project, like for backstitch, quite a lot. Also DMC Perle white number 12 this one and the usual DMC threads these are the just seven shades this ones uh, if you want of course you can stitch in silk because this one says for example you can use cranic silk mori or you can use DMC for example here it's written cranic silk mori or DMC I use DMC I don't have silk more because I don't stitch other projects with it and this would be the materials I used in this project and of course the cherry on the cake is the peacock embellishment so mine is not the original one because originally it should be a golden peacock mine it's normal peacock but thanks god I found this one and I could use it and I could make sense of this work um, it's a super nice work, it has to be done carefully uh, um, because every detail matters, but the result is wow, maybe because I enjoy lately 
stitching things like this and I am glad that I did it because I, I wanted to do some of the special stitches which are here because I want to get used to them because they there are other um, designs which have these special stitches and which I want to stitch and so far I was like uh, a bit afraid of stitching them so I want you to, to train myself and be able to do them and probably you notice that I have one more work also peacocks also from this thing uh, the thing is that um, the chart uh, recommended uh, like one more design or it was a bonus design uh, this one uh, is uh, it was uh, uh, made as a the lid of a box I'm not sure what I'm going to make but I had all the materials I had like the the uh, linen and I decided to do it because I like the design a lot that's why I did it here. It's much simple. So it's just golden beads, like two peacocks and the central element. And I changed a little bit this edge, this one, a little bit. So it wasn't supposed to, to do here uh, golden beads, but I was supposed to, to make it with a uh, DMC thread kind of line. Mostly something like, like this, not so, so thick, thinner, just one uh, one row but I did it like this because I like it more I liked it more so I said I don't know how I'm going how I'm going to like make the final variant of this one a pink cube uh, the lid of a box but I liked it I stitched it and I, I'll see how I'm going to manage it I'm very glad that I stitched this one and I would say that um, a stitching dream came true. And I wanted to show you my next small project. Uh, this is going to be again a jasnan and this is going to be a cube by jasnan which is called Tea with Honey and this one also is out of production and I will try to make my reconstruction of this one. So um, originally I will show you a quickly the materials I'm going to use. So originally they recommend to use uh, um, Casho uh, 28th count by Zweigart, which is uh, light sand, the color. I have this one because I have it for a project, but I, it seems to me that this one is uh, too dark, first of all. And uh, the second of all, this one I think it's out of production because it was hard for me to find it. And I have it for a different project. I just brought it here to show to you because first of all I think it's too dark and second of all I need it for that project for sure so I'm not going to use it this I'm not going to use this one the next one which I thought about these are the casual the cream and the pale cream so this would be pale cream this would be cream and again cream it seems to me like too dark I don't know why and the final decision is to be pale cream so I'm going to stitch it on a pale cream and this would be the cold color, it's 99, this one. So this is going to be the um, linen I'm going to use. So I also need these shades of DMC. I would need true DMC Perlet, this is blank white number 8 and this is number 12, it's uh, 712. I need some beads, so I need 2 millimeters pearl, these are check ones, it's two millimeter pearls, they're just sold like this. And uh, I need the uh, pink rose beads. Uh, I have here the petite rose beads and uh, I have here like the usual ones, I'll see. Ideally I would need like petite like this but I couldn't find, so I'll see which one are going to be the best for this project. 
and uh, for those who stitch just now and know this project uh, they know that the again cherry on the cake of this project are the three extraordinary pins which i don't have but i have something like this so i also have a cup of tea i have a teapot and i have a thing for cream so my tea is going to be with honey and cream <laughs> and i am super happy and i hope i'm going to make them soon to show i hope i'm going to make it soon to show how these pins look on that cube and this is all so i hope in the next video i'm going to show you the ready work because i don't have to stitch a lot in this one so this would be all for this video thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for nice comments which you are leaving and see you in my next videos until then bye bye